Hello YouTube, um, this is FrozenP69, and I'm going to be doing another app review. Um, this was requested by someone that I forget the name, sorry. Um, uh, the app review I'm going to be doing is Resident Evil 4. This currently costs $4.99 in the App Store, um, but it went on sale a month ago, I think, and it was uh, and it was 99 cents, so that's when I bought mine. Um, but it's five dollars right now in the app store. Uh, all right, so let's get into it. I hope my camera will pick this up. So it's made by Capcom, obviously, because it's Resident Evil. Um, so let's just switch. Volume. Cool little intro thing. So basically, you have your um. Wow, my camera. Sorry if you can't see this, guys. But this is continue, which is my game that I'm playing right now. Uh, coin shoot, history, and reset data. And then you have your settings thing down here, which you have your sound, your controls, get more, and language. Um. Yeah, that's basically it. Okay, so I'll go into continue here. So, uh, you, you get all these missions that you can do. So far there is 14, but in the new update there'll be 22. Uh, yeah, you get all these missions. If you're, if you've ever played Resident Evil 4 for the PlayStation 2, GameCube, or the Wii, then this game will be pretty familiar. Alright, so let's just go into the blind weapon. And I'll just show you some a bit of gameplay from this. Welcome. Let's just Come start mission. You get to buy stuff from that guy. Uh kinda tells you stuff. But you can just hit these. So basically you move using this analog stick right here. You can make Ashley wait by pressing this button. And then you can go and then call her again, pressing it again. Um, to draw your weapon in this case, uh, a handgun, you press a little gun, gun icon right here. And that draws your weapon, and you use the analog stick to aim. And then you just prep, tap the gun icon again to shoot. Um, and then to use your knife, you just tap the knife icon and then move the analog stick. And tap the knife icon again to swing your knife. So let's just go over here. I'm really sorry if you can't see this, guys. I should have lowered the brightness on my screen before doing this. I'm sorry. Crap, this is going to come up horrible quality. But, it's okay. I mean, just pick up stuff. So. Oops. And then we'll go through here and get the key. Okay, now there's two kind of guards there, and then I'm just gonna. You can tell if you're shooting them by there's a little red dot that will appear on the enemy, and then you just turn into some mobs, I think. It's a really fun application, uh, definitely worth five dollars. Um, but I got it for ninety nine cents, so that was a really good deal. Um, but for five dollars, I definitely recommend this app. Go check it out, Resident Evil Four, uh, for the Apple Touch. Um, really good graphics. I'm surprised by the graphics, how good they were. I didn't think they would be that good, but 
I think it's a little bit better if I move it away. But, um, yeah, basically, that's it. Uh, overall, I'd probably give this app uh, an 8.5 out of 10, just because the controls are a little bit annoying. But you get used to them um, after a while. But, yeah, I definitely recommend this app to anyone who likes survival horrors um, on application. Go check it out.